I knew Sebastian, of course, so um, not well, but I knew him. I worked with him a little bit. I've seen a couple of his shows. Um, worked on The Irishman with him. Um, so um, we had a reading, and then I, after, after that, I pretty much, I like to do that a lot. I decided, let me, uh, let's do it. So we just had to find the time and when to do it. Well, this script, I, I, um, uh, I liked. I saw that it had a personal element from Sebastian's experience, obviously, and that, uh, and after getting to know Laura Teruso a little bit, I, I realized that she or, or knew that her background was she was from Brooklyn, Italian American. They knew the world. They're from the world, so that's very important as far as the way this thing is um, done and um, whatever support I need, I know that they know what they're doing. So. Um, that was an important part of it. Salvo. Uh, Salvo is, uh, is um, Sebastian Maniscalco's father. Um, and um, it's based on their, their uh, life together. And that was another thing. It was a personal thing based on that. And Sebastian being a, a comedian, he tell the funny parts of it, the ironic parts, and so on. So that was yeah, another reason to do it, or to want to do it. He's a real character. Uh, there's nothing, um, and I was lucky to have um, him as a model um, to know what I could take off of him. Uh, that's always good. I always try to look for what any character is based on, how, what any real element there is in there, whether, it was, whether the writer modeled it after a certain historical character or this or that, um, so that you can sort of read about them, look them up, study them, see if there's anything that can be help, helpful. Again, it was personal, just I had a good feeling about it. Then I, I met um, Salvo, I was shooting a, um, um, Killers of the Flower Moon in Tulsa, in, in Oklahoma, and I was in Tulsa, so I met uh, the old man, if you will, and, and, and spent some time with him, and I brought him on the set, and so on. And it was a nice, nice feeling all around. That was his real profession. That's what he did, what he took pride in. Um, and um, I, I um, respected that, you know and tried to learn as much as I could for what I had to do in, in, in the salon and stuff like that. And, and again, I had, um, I'd go over, we went over certain scenes in the script and I ask him how that's, how that was, blah, 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 if that worked or he's happy with that. And he said, yeah, he was very easy about it. You know, and, and I knew basically it was all in a certain zone that, you know, you could go here, you go there, but basically you're, you're in the, you're in the zone, if you will. I like Sebastian. We we had a, a good uh, a good relationship. We have a good relationship. It was fun to do it with him. And I and again, it's a, based on a real his father. So if there's anything uh, there, I could ask him if I felt there wasn't much that I asked him, but I, there might have been, or he might say to me, or through Laura, the director, um, maybe do this or try that or think about that. It's fun for obvious reasons. It's it's a different form of acting, if you will, um, and for me, and um, gives you a certain freedom in a certain way where you can't do certain things if you're doing a straight story because uh, unless the character would do certain humorous things, so you have certain limitations in a drama, if you will. In this, you could do other quirky little things, maybe from time to time, and you'd get away with it because it's a comedy. I guess you'd say it's about a, a, a father-son relationship. The father has criticism of the, of the son. The son has criticism of the, the father. They have a, um, a, a, a the relationship that's um, not in huge dramatic ways. It's it's a, a family comedy. It's the kind of classic things where the father, not crazy about the in-laws, the prospective in-laws, they're, they're a bunch of stiffs 
waspy stiffs from, you know, wherever. And um, they're not too sure about him either, the, the son, the prospective son-in-law and the, but they do pretty well. They're pretty nice actually about it. And Salvo has, you know, he's, uh, they tolerate Salvo, I guess. Salvo does not, you know, there are a couple of scenes where he says, what are you doing with this, in this whole situation, which is another classic one, I'm sure. Many families go through that, especially when it's a whole cultural clash. Laura was a very good director, very smart, you know, practical. And uh, I, I liked her very much. I, and I also met her parents. I liked them very much. I wanted to meet them when she was in New York. And um, uh, yeah, you know, it was uh, terrific. She was very smart about everything. I worked with... Um, Robert Mitchum, twice, I worked with him in um, uh, The Last Tycoon and in um, Cape Fear, which he was in the original. So Marty is a kind of a homage or whatever, had, he had a little part in it. Um, and uh, he was terrific, you know, because as a kid I'd see his movies. And... and um, then we had Gregory Peck, too, in and, and, and it. Um, um, well, the movies, the, the actors I admired were Brando, James Dean. He only did three movies, but he was great. And uh, Montgomery Clift, I never worked with him. Brando I worked with and met, knew a little bit personally before we worked. Um, and he, he, you know, he's always great, whatever he does. Well, it was a good experience. It was good, and I, I, as I said, I liked everybody. We had a good time. Where we shot was good. The whole thing was uh, good.